G'day mates, and welcome to the Cut Labs YouTube channel. I'm guessing you found this video because like me, you're interested in mountain bike trail building. But before we can get to all that cool shit, let me give you a quick introduction to the channel and some of the things I've got in store for it. To start off with, my name's Luke and I'm a graphic designer. I started building this trail way back at the start of COVID when I lost my job. I had plenty of spare time on my hands, so I decided to take a trip and visit my dad on the far south coast of New South Wales. He's got this bloody awesome property that is absolutely perfect for building mountain bike trails. We've got over 100 meters of elevation to work with, which is about 300 feet, and it is just covered in forests and ferns that you can rip through. We've got rocks to drop off. There's logs across gullies that I can turn into these sketchy little skinnies. But this is Australia, so I am sharing it with the wildlife. I'm constantly coming face to face with spiders. I've had leeches and ticks sucking my blood, mm, bull ants biting at my ankles. And just the other day, red belly black snake on the path. Snake run. Oh, oh, oh! Welcome to trail building in Australia, mate. Anyway, Dad and I got to clearing a trail. And before we knew it, we had about a kilometer, which is half a mile of this sketchy, loose, fun, fast, flowy trail, which you don't even have to pedal if you don't want to. This is the first trail I'll be working on in the YouTube series. It's getting close to a year old now, and we just recently had some big storms. So I've got to do a lot of trail maintenance from fixing up berms, making them bigger, widening the trail a lot, and working on the drainage. But that crap, that's the boring stuff. What I really want to be focusing on is adding a bit more flavor to the trail. When I actually built this trail, I left room for some bigger features, stuff that I wasn't ready to build just yet. I wanted to get the trail flowing from top to bottom. I wanted to ride it as quick as possible. But now it's time to add a little bit of spice, a bit more fun to the trail. So that is going to be the focus of this channel. All right, let's get to it. Let me show you the trail so far. So I just remembered before I can show you the track, uh, I actually have to get rid of this tree because we had a storm about two weeks ago. It's come down, it's blocking the trail. I've got dad's chainsaw over on the ground there. Uh, haven't used a chainsaw all that much. So hopefully by the end of this, uh, I still got all my fingers. Track's clear enough for now. I mean, I do pretty dodgy with this all, but it's rideable. Um, man, I hate chainsaws. They scare the crap out of me. But anyway, you can ride through it, and that's all that matters. So I might give this thing a bit of a rake, get to the top, and show you what it's like. That's the trail. That was sick. 
Oh, I'm pumped. I'll go on riding for the den. So that was the trail so far and it's freaking sick. It's already so much fun to ride. But like I said, I've got plans for a few more spicier features and I'll let you know what they are right now. The first feature I want to show you is this stump. I want to turn this into a drop. So I'm going to build a bridge up to it, which you can then ride across, drop off the end of the stump. Should be about a meter and a half drop or something. The landing is already on a slope, but I think it needs to be more of a slope. Um, just a bit steeper, so I'll probably build up dirt at the end of it for you to land on right away smoothly. Another major feature that I want to build is on this long straight behind me. You come screaming around this corner and have heaps of speed, so I want to build a gap jump. And to do that, I actually want to remove a whole lot of the dirt on the side of the hill, so we have this small little valley gully type thing to jump across. When finished, the riders will be able to come down and gap over a small little gully that I've created, or there'll be a little run around track as well if you're not confident in jumping. You might think that it's a bit pointless digging out a big hole like that just to jump across it, but I actually have plans for that dirt. When I'm actually digging that valley up through those trees, I'll be putting it into the wheelbarrow and bringing it down to this lower section where I can start working on another major feature. I'm not sure exactly what it will be yet. Maybe um, a whale tail built entirely out of dirt. But we'll see what happens by the time I get down to this section. So this feature is actually a new addition to the trail. It wasn't part of the original plan. It's actually that tree that I just had to clear from the trail. It's fallen across the valley and is perfect to build a pretty sketchy skinny. I'm imagining that the trail will split into two and just here we can have a little ramp up onto the log and you can ride across this valley. It's going to be sketchy, it's going to be hairy, it's going to be all those good things. The trail will then continue across the other side of this valley to where I've already built this drop over here and that lines up perfectly with the bridge and the next features that I'm going to show you. So this is the last major feature that I want to show you on the trail. It's actually the jump line and it's going to consist of three jumps. To start off with, we've got this one that's pretty much there already. I need to actually build up a bit of a landing, shape the takeoff a bit better and work on the in run because it's not wide enough at the moment. Once you hit that first jump, the trail continues down the valley, across the creek and that's where the original trail turned right. Um, I want to continue this one straight into another jump. So this is where the new jump will go. You fly off over these ferns here. After you land that second jump, there'll be this slight left-hand corner that's gonna line you up directly with this creek. For the final feature of the trail, I want something memorable. I'm thinking creek gap. Now I am terrible at jumps and that scares the crap out of me, but it's just gonna add so much flavor. I'm gonna be packing my dax hitting this thing, but I'm so excited to build it. That's a trail build plan for the next couple months and I can't wait to start digging and share that build process with you guys. And there is one last thing that I'm keen to share with you. As a thank you for watching the first Cut Labs video, I want to have a contest. As a graphic designer, I've always been passionate about designing my own t-shirts and I thought this could be a fun use for some of my sketches. I designed and printed this t-shirt for myself to wear in the video and I have three more to give away to my lucky viewers anywhere in the world. Entry is simple, all you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel and you'll be in the running to win. This in return will also really help me out with YouTube algorithm and trying to get more viewers to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm hoping that you are as excited as I am for the next episode. I'll be out here over the next couple of days filming, building and writing so I can get that first episode to you as soon as possible. Like I keep saying, this whole area has so much potential for mountain bike trails. I can't wait to see what we create together. Stay tuned.